Hey everyone, and welcome back to Miss Azriel's Gaming. Today we're continuing with a paranormal site, The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. So let's go ahead and jump in. So if you remember from the last ones that we've done, uh, we finished up Haru uh, Shigima's quest line. Uh, we did Tetsu Tsumi's up to this point, so obviously we have to do something here to get to there. So now we're going to go with Yaku Sakazaki's. So it says Spirit Board. Yaku Sakazaki research, uh, searches for the rite of resurrection, hoping to revive her friend who jumped to her death. To get the information she needs, she meets with her classmate Mayo Kurazutsi in their classroom at midnight to attempt using the Spirit Board. Well, that sounds like a bad combination. Okay, so Yaku Sakazuki, 10 a.m. or 12 a.m. Kamagata High School. That should be everything. Okay, let's start. Ready for this, Yako? Okay, I'm ready. High school student, Yako Sakazaki. Okay, she's a female high school student. We don't know if she has a cursed echo, which I believe she does, but we don't know what it is yet. So Yako is a student in class 2C at Kamagata High School, unable to comprehend why her childhood friend and classmate Michio Surishi committed suicide. She attempted to investigate the incident herself. However, she was unable to make any progress and feeling desperate, invited a transfer student, Mayo Kurazuzi, to join in her performing a spirit board ritual. Born and raised in Hanjo, Samata City, Yako's family has owned and operated the beloved candy shop, uh, Sonoya, since its establishment in the early Shawa era. Despite her modest appearance, Yako is a cheerful and vivacious young woman with a sense of duty and compassion so strong that she's easily moved to tears. She's also a bit quick-tempered and quarrelsome, always prepared to stand up against those who harm her family or friends. It is possible, however, that this readiness to fight is more driven by an innate love of chaos. Yako's winning streak against arrogant boys and scraps since she was a child remains unbroken and is a source of considerable stress for her mother. All right, let's start. Creepy, that girl had a pentagram bread. This is the spirit board. This is how we'll be communicating. First, we'll both put a finger on the 10 yen coin that's on the board. Okay. Like this. Just like that. Relax your finger as much as you can. Now for the chant. Repeat what I say, okay? O specter of the spirit board, please visit us. Your turn. Oh, specter of the spirit board. Oh crap, was it come to me? No, it was visit us. Please visit us. Specter of the spirit board, specter of the spirit board, please visit us. Good. Please tell us if you are there. Hmm, yes. Whoa, it really moved. Looks like we succeeded in summon in the summoning. We can ask questions now. Right, questions. Start with a question you know the answer to and see the response. Then when you know your questions are being answered truthfully, you ask what you really want to know. Okay, I'll start with something simple. Mm. Would it know my name? Oh, let's try. What is my name? I think it should know the answer to this. O oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, what is my name? Huh. What's the matter? How strange. No. Huh. It told me no. Uh, I bet it means it doesn't know. It may be the Spectre of the Spirit Board, but it doesn't know everything. Is this spirit really the real deal? It's fine. I feel like it's giving me attitude. Okay, let's try what is this place? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, where are we? H-I-G-H-S-C-H-O-R 
O L high school. High school, that's right. The answers don't seem to be very precise. Let's just try what is this girl's name. Fine. What is this girl... What is the name of the girl across from me? M. I. Oh, Now how come it knew her, but not me? Mio. That's right. Ugh, that's not fair. It knows your name, Mio. It even used that weird character you used to spell your name. How flattering. Psychic girl, Mio Kurazuzi. Okay, she's a female high school student. Mio transferred to class C2 at Kamagata High School about two months ago. Although she's an extremely mild-mannered young woman, she exudes a somewhat off-putting dark aura, which makes it difficult for her to form friendships. Mio ha has, however, found a friend in her classmate, Yaku Sakazuki... Saki, and has begun opening up to her little by little. The truth of the matter is that Mio is the apprentice of a famous psychic. Possessing exceptional spirits, and she takes on the troublesome task of um, serendipitously handling spiritual disturbances that break out in the school across Tokyo before they become a problem. She transfers schools frequently as a result, and thus has trouble making human friends. That's probably who the detective was talking about. Mio has already solved an incident at Kamakata High School involving a female student possessed by spirit. Although she takes effort to hide her spirit sense, many developed an impression that Mio has a deep knowledge of the occult and the paranormal upon first meeting her, leading her to the anxious, uh, leading her to be anxious that her secrets have been exposed. The most common comment she receives is that she seems to get along well with crows and black cats. I bet even the teachers get it wrong all the time. I guess these paranormal beings just tend to take a liking to you. Hmm? I don't know how I should feel about that. Okay, well, I didn't know my name. Let's go with, is it really you? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Are you truly the Spectre of the Spirit Board? No. Hmm? It said no. Is it lying? Not quite. The Spectre of the Spirit Board is just a temporary name we call them using the board. We're actually calling a spirit with a strong tie to this place, or one of the people participating. In other words, a spirit just happens to be nearby, just felt like answering. They don't really think of themselves as the specter of the spirit board. Oh, really? Huh, feels like some sort of mystique has appeared. Do you mind if I still call you the specter of the spirit board? Yes. Okay. Um, thanks. Always good to remember to say please and thank you. Okay, so let's try my name again. I'll ask again, what is my name? No. Hm, doesn't like me, does it? Didn't even hesitate this time. Alright, it's time to try asking serious questions. Yeah. Who does Mio have a crush on? Okay, I really... I have to ask this one, though. I just gotta ask it. Oh, Spectre the Spirit Board, what is the name of the boy Mio has a crush on? Hey, you're going to ask that kind of question? Doesn't everyone ask this kind of stuff with spirit boards? Besides, I'm curious. No, no, no. Let's not do this. Oh, it won't answer it. Hmm. It said no. Guess that means you don't have a crush on anyone. Whew. Yeah, that's not... That's... That's it. No is correct. Let's move on. Ah, or maybe... Oh, Spectre the Spirit Board, do you mean the boy isn't in our class? Oh. Yes. Wow. Hey, hey, stop that. Don't make me exercise you. If that's the case, then... Oh, Spectre the Spirit Board, is it a teacher at our school? Mm, no. Ah, no good, huh? Phew. Yako, cut it out already. We made the effort to sneak in at night. We shouldn't waste time with these questions. You've got a point. Okay. Okay, here I go. I'll be serious now. Yes, please. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Did Michio, did Michio Sarazashi in our class, who died by committing suicide by jumping one week ago, really commit suicide? No. So it really wasn't. I'm not surprised. I never believed it from the start. Now's the important part. Yeah. Okay, so Michu uh, Sirashishi. Sirashi. Female high school student. Michio was a second year student at Komagata High School. She was found deceased one week ago in a back alley off South 
Wigger Sioux Street, her entire body broken and severely contorted. Police determined that Michio committed suicide by jumping from a nearby apartment building. As there was no suicide note, the police based their conclusion on interviews with Michio's peers. Michio was an honor student with a good head on her shoulders and constantly and consistently excellent grades, making her a favorite among the teachers. Although she appeared somewhat reserved, she had a positive outlook on life and a courageous spirit. Michio and Yaku formed a long-lasting friendship during their childhood, with Yaku's unbending, compromising attitude deeply influencing Michio. However, beneath her strong exterior, Michio had been pushing herself too hard and keeping her emotions bottled up to the point that they risked overflowing. Following her father's death three years ago and moving to a new house, Michio began avoiding Yaku. Although the two remained in the same area of town and attended the same high school, they gradually grew further apart. Yako herself, worried for her childhood friend, but incapable of wading into complexities of Michio's home life, kept her distance. The days passed, and though Michio longed to confess everything to Yako, the moment to do so never came. Michio carried an, an old talisman, a memento of her father, with her at all times. A specter of the spirit board. Did Michio Surasashi die in an accident? Yes said yes. So it was an accident, not a suicide. Michio. Then, did she slip and fall from that apartment building? No. Huh? She didn't? What do you mean? Michio didn't die falling from the apartment building? Yes. No way. If that were true, then why was she lying on the ground like that in the back alley of the apartment building? It was an accident, but not a fall? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, what happened to Michio on that day? Seems like it doesn't know the details. Then how about, O Spectre of the Spear Board, we want to use the Rite of Resurrection to bring Michio back to life. Do you know where the Rite of Resurrection is? I wonder. Huh? Ah! What? What is this? Stop, I'm scared, Mio. Calm down, you can't let, you can't let go before it's over. Ah! Such deep sorrow, a resentful memory is flowing into my mind. Fool's procession, those who hear it fall into the depths of hell. Kill them. Kill them. Those who hear this sound, kill them all. You've acquired the power of the cursed stone, the fool's procession. You can use it to kill those who hear the sound produced by the cursed echo for more than 30 seconds. The effect will be negated if you are seen in that time. Press the Use Curse button to produce the sound. Okay, so we read about the Fool's Procession once before. So kills by Fatal Fall, one who hears its music for 30 seconds without seeing the Curse Bearer. Resentful Memory. Omiyo stood atop the tall festival tower. It was her time to shine, and she was ecstatic. It had been years since she joined the troupe, but she had yet to enjoy her day in the spotlight. She wasn't particularly pretty, nor was she all that talented. As a gossip and a loudmouth, she wasn't well liked by her peers. Some of the other girls thought of her as a teacher's pet and bullied her. I don't care about them, she thought. I'll use this chance to make something of myself. Everything was perfect. She wore a beautiful kimono and an okomi mask over her face. The stage was set. The accompaniment began. She danced with everything she had. Applause rained down upon her from the crowd. Her breathing hastened with excitement. I've got to catch my breath. That's strange. I can't take my mask off. The smell of glue assaulted her nostrils. So that's how it is. I knew it was too good to be true. Her screams were drowned out by the music as she squirmed and struggled. Omiyo is giving it is giving it her all today. We have to keep up. The crowd livened even more. No, no, please, someone help me. She fell from the tower, writhing in pain, as she begged those around her for help. The music stopped in time with Omeo's heart. Uh, a murderous impulse seeps into my soul like thick black tar. Now. Kill. Can you hear it, Curse Bearer? You, who so strongly desire the right. Kill them. Okay, so two things to remember. Alright, so the information they gained from the spirit board suggests that Michio's death was not a suicide. When they continue to press the spirit board for the location of the Rite of Resurrection, a curse echo suddenly appears. One week ago.
Hey, did you hear? Someone from our school committed suicide. What? Really? Who? I heard that Michio from Class C, right? No way. Michio? She'd be acting pretty strange. She'd been acting pretty strange lately, but I still can't believe it. Did you hear about Michio in Class C? Yeah, she seemed like the stereotypical honor student in her first year, but... She stopped showing up to her classes and grades started dropping after her third semester. So she offed herself because her grades were bad? No fair. Just thinking about practice tests makes me want to die too. All anyone cares about is test scores and grades. Well, that's kind of cold. Did you know I heard Michio's mom remarried last year? They say her new stepdad is a total jerk. Really? How so? Like he'd peek on her while she changes and couldn't keep his hands off her. I heard even I even heard he's an ex-con. If she resists him, he gets violent. That's so scary. No way. I couldn't take that. I'd probably think about killing myself too if I had to deal with someone like that at home. You hear about the suicides in the news before it happened here? It's a little scary. By the way, isn't there a girl who transferred into Class C recently? Oh, I heard about her. She's gloomy. Doesn't stand out much. Did you know that the school she was at before she transferred also had a suicide? What? For real? That seems like kind of fishy. Hmm. <clears throat> There might be some of you who already know, but a member of her class, Michio Sirashi, passed away last night. Okay, okay, calm down. I know this comes as a surprise, but please keep quiet. The cause of death is still under investigation, and there's nothing we know for certain at the moment. Detailed investigation and reports will come from the police, so please don't go spreading any rumors, got it? We're sending everyone home for today. No dilly-dallying on your way. School will be off tomorrow as well. Hey, you, stop celebrating. Show some respect. There will be a memorial service scheduled next week at the school assembly, if anyone wishes to pay their respects individually. Several days later. Um, Yeko? Um, sorry to bug you. It's just, you seem a little different from your usual self. I hope I'm not being nosy. Let's go with thanks, Mia. But, thanks, Mio. Was I acting that strangely? Yeah, enough to make me worry. If you want to talk, I'm happy to listen. Yeah, this is perfect timing. There's actually something I wanted to ask you. Yeah? Um... Let's do about the Rite of Resurrection. Hey, Mio. You know about the Rite of Resurrection, right? Uh, yeah, it's that thing Mr. Ars... Arashi apparently discovered and wrote an article about. I doubt there's many people who don't know. He's always talking about it. Do you believe it's real? Huh? Well, um, it sounds a little too good to be true to me. But on the off chance that it really works, we could bring Michio back to life with it. I want to find it if there's even the slightest chance of bringing Michio back. But how will you look for it? Right, that's the thing. Um, you know that spirit board thing that everyone's been doing? Where you summon a spirit and ask if whatever, ask it whatever you want? Uh, yeah, I know it. I want to try it out. There's something I want to know. Why are you telling me this? I mean, you seem like the type to know about this stuff. Oh, I do? Yeah, you look like you're really into that occult stuff. You know, you've got that kind of gloomy look. Huh? I don't know how I should feel about that. But you do know how to do it, right? Well, yes. I think I probably know a little more than most. Okay, please help me. You're my only hope. Hmm. Okay, please help me. You're my only hope. Okay, so we have to ask about her. Michio, she... I wonder why she had to die. She didn't leave a note or anything, but they announced that it was a suicide. That can't be right. She would never kill herself. Michio was so happy and always looked on the bright side of things. She loved coming to school. I know she was going through some hard times, but for her to kill herself... I never got a chance to speak with her. She was often absent from school, and when she did come in, she looked depressed. 
You're right. And that's why everyone was so willing to accept that she committed suicide. They acted like they cared, but all they did was gossip about it. They put together little pieces of information and spread rumors like it's the truth. Isn't that terrible? Yes, it is. I've heard some that are really awful. In the end, the only reason they're able to say stuff like that is because they aren't personally involved. It's true that she didn't get along with her new stepdad and that her grades went down. But to say things like, how sad, no wonder she killed herself, how dare they? She always told me she was okay whenever I talked with her because I was worried. She would have told me if there was something bothering her so badly she'd kill herself over it. Uh-huh. Oh. I gotta ask about her again. I won't let Misho's death be written off like this. Like, maybe she got caught up in something bad. Something bad? People have been talking about that body found in the former Yush Yushido Gardens, right? Some are saying that this town is cursed or something. Yes, there's been a strange feeling around this re things recently. Um, the thing you want to ask about is... Yeah, I want to know about the truth behind Mishio's death. And where the Rite of Resurrection is hidden. I see. Hmm. I don't know if getting the answer to those questions will be easy as you hope. Please, the teachers and the police aren't any help, and there's only so much I can do alone. If there's even the slightest chance, then... Well... Okay, if that would make you feel better, then I'll help. Yes, thank you, Mio. Okay, then tomorrow after dark. Okay, so notes on Mishio Sarashi. Case notes regarding the suicide of Mishio Sarashi, Komagata High School, Class 2, 2C. Cause of death, body discovered one week ago. Died from full body blunt force trauma in an alley off South Wager Wagarisu Street. Believed to have fallen from the roof of a nearby apartment complex. Potential motives. The deceased parents had recently remarried and... Or, yeah, the deceased parents had recently married. And rumors among the students suggested physical abuse by her stepfather may constitute motives for suicide. Yaku Sazuki, 12 a.m. Kumagata High School, Class C, 2C. Mm, huh? Ah, oh, you're awake, Yako. Yeah, what happened? You can't remember? Let's see. We used the spirit board and... I suddenly heard something, like this weird voice. And then I passed out. Yes, as far as I can tell, you aren't experiencing any negative effects. I think it was just a mild shock from how sudden it was. Huh? Uh, was everything okay with the spirit? Yep, it was almost bad, but I got it to leave. More importantly, what is that thing you have in your hand? Hmm? In my hand? Whoa, what the heck is this? It looks so freaky. When did I get this? Acquired stone... Uh, cursed stone acquired the fool's procession. Oh, there's so much anger and hatred held within it. It looks a little like tools that were used for ancient curses. What? That's so scary! Yoko, you just said you heard a strange voice, right? Could you tell me what you heard? Anything you can recall? I think it might be connected to that object. Um, let's see. It felt like I was at the bottom of a dark place. Then this voice felt like it was echoing in my mind. After that, it just kept shouting, kill them. I see, thank you. Yako? I think you may have exactly what you need in order to use the Rite of Resurrection. A curse with the power to take people's lives and turn them into soul dregs. What? You mean this is a real curse? I know I said I wanted to use the Rite of Resurrection to bring back Mishio, but... But why? Why me? It makes no sense. Yako, please calm down and listen. I can't stay calm. <laughs> okay, I'll try to stay calm. I... Yeah. I'm sorry about panicking. No, it's okay. Fear is something we feel in the face of an unknown. Long ago, people would give names to the phenomenon they couldn't understand in order to live with them. However, modern day developments in science and culture have pushed for the rejection of things that can't be measured. And so, the paranormal has been treated like it doesn't exist. But they've been around since a long, long time ago. If you just understand, you can see that there's nothing to be afraid of. First, calming down is the most important. Accept reality for what it is. Huh? I only really gave this stuff a shot because it was popular, but... You really do have a connection with this stuff, don't you? Well, I suppose to an extent. Hey, Mio, what do I do? Where do I start? Am I cursed? Am I going to die? It's okay, I'll take care of the curse. That's why I'm here in the first place. What? Trust me. I'll take care of things. It'll be alright. Thanks. 
I was the one who dragged you along to do the spirit board. It's fine. You're desperate to find a way to try and help your friend. But spirit boards are dangerous. You have to take them seriously. So I'm glad you invited me. All right, let's review everything we've learned so far and think of how to move forward. Okay. What is this curse? Am I cursed? Well, I've only looked into it a little, but I wouldn't quite say you're cursed. It's more like you've gained the ability to use the power of a curse, so there shouldn't be any kind of negative paranormal effect on you. The power to use a curse? Do you mean this curse stone? Yes, if the curse stone is used under certain conditions, a curse will be placed on someone taking their life and turning it into soul dregs. Soul dregs are said to be required to enact the rite of resurrection. Normally, a curse is a spell that would only be unusable by an omiyaju of considerable talent. I believe that curse stone makes it so that even normal people can use them. So someone like me with no knowledge could curse someone. Yes, but it's still nothing to take lightly. You could end up having it redirected right at you. To tell you the truth, something unusual did happen while we were using the spirit board. It happened right around midnight, I think. This whole area seems to be under the effect of the Feast of Shadows. The Feast of Shadows? Yes, it's a type of spell that temporarily boosts the potency of the supernatural. It also has the effect of making the powers of certain cursed echoes manifest more easily. Judging by its strength, I'd say it probably covers about a 3 to 4 kilometer radius. 3 to 4 kilometers? Uh, that's big enough to co cover all of Samata City. Yes, I think the Feast of Shadows was used to cause the resentment lingering in the area to manifest as a cursed stone. Someone did this? But who? I don't know enough to say. But it's likely that it was done by someone who wants to uncover the Rite of Resurrection. This isn't something to happen naturally. I see. Okay, so the Feast of Shadows, a technique that allows one to create a field that temporarily boosts spiritual energy. In addition to amplifying the spirit powers of a particular area, it can also be used to amplify the strength of grudges and desires tied to the area. The effectiveness of the Feast of Shadows is dependent on the abilities of the user, but it's possible to limit the scope and range of the spell to such a degree that one could use it to amplify the power of even those not naturally gifted with spirit sense. A Cursed Stone's power can only be used in this area under the influence of the Feast of Shadows. The effects can only appear after the sun is set. By setting a limit on when they can be used, the curses are strengthened. So the curses can't be used outside this area or during the day? Correct, but speaking of limits, to actually use a curse to kill someone, it seems there are conditions that need to be met. Conditions? You mean like how my cursed echo needs someone to listen to the sound it makes for 30 seconds? To be honest, I don't really understand it. Like, how do I even summon the curse echo or make the sound? Do I just, like, will it? Do you mind if I try? Stop, stop, stop. You shouldn't be using curses so willy-nilly. Even if there are conditions that have to be met, the power to kill someone without leaving behind evidence is dangerous enough. In that sense, maybe you really have been cursed. I'm sorry that you got wrapped up in this situation even though I'm here with you. That cursed stone, I think whoever holds it becomes a curse bearer. It would probably be best for me to hold on to it, but then I'd feel bad about forcing it on you. No, I sense a powerful force rejecting me. I don't think I'd be able to take it. Really? Why? If we tried separating it from you, the curse may trigger. That's how bad I sense it wants to stay with you. No way. That curse stone might look like nothing more than an old Natsuke carving, but I can sense a powerful, resentful energy from it. I don't think it's a good idea for me to even touch it. I may seem like I know what I'm doing, but I don't know how to handle something this powerful. Really? This little thing? If you threw it away and someone with bad ideas picked it up, it could be bad. I think it would be safer to avoid the risk of getting anyone else involved and have you hold on to it for now. Well, now I'm kind of freaked out. Anyways, we need to make it to daybreak. I think the curse should weaken once it's morning. I'll help you find a way to deal with it then. Okay. So there are two things you should remember. First, do not fulfill the conditions while it's night. Second, should you happen to fulfill the conditions, don't use the curse. R right. The mysterious voice said the cursed stone is called the Fool's Procession, right? Yeah, that's the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo, right? Our school is said to be connected with a story with the same name, One of the Mysteries. Right, I don't think it's a coincidence. This is just a guess, but it's possible that you were chosen because it could fill your desire for the Rite of Resurrection. If 
this is a curse of the seven mysteries of Hanjo, then it's possible that there are others who receive curses associated with the other mysteries. Yeah, that voice also said that there are other curse bearers or whatever you call them. Not only that, apparently you can get a lot of soul dregs by killing a curse bearer. Right, that's certainly not good. Even if we have no intention of killing others with the curse, there's a chance you may be targeted if other curse bearers find out. Eep. We'll have to avoid anyone who has another one of the curses. That means we should avoid people at night as much as possible. But Mio, yes? If this curse is real, that means I could bring back Michio if I used it right. The right of resurrection would be real too. Yes, that's true. But you can't do that, Yako. But it feels like it's not the time to worry about that kind of stuff. If Michio died in an accident, then I'm sure she didn't want to die. What's the issue with putting a little curse on a complete stranger? I sort of feel like it wouldn't be a big deal. What's going on with you? You're not acting like yourself, Yako. You would never even consider taking the life of another person. Is it the curse's influence on you? Maybe the curse's... Maybe the curse echoes grudge is rubbing off on you. Will you show me it for a second? Hmm? Is there something inside it? No, stop. Yako? Oh, I'm sorry. But it's like, I just suddenly really didn't want you to touch it. I understand, I'm sorry. But you need to give up on the right of resurrection. What? Because that's the real curse. Using resurrection as lore, it tempts curse bearers into using their curses. You have to resist it. Don't let yourself be deceived by some curse. But Michio could... I think for tonight we should get you home to rest. I'll walk you. The curse's influence should subside in the morning. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm telling you that you need to give up on the right. It's beyond us. Even a single cursed stone alone is too much to handle. Bringing back the dead isn't something so simple. I know how much it hurts, but please focus on just worrying about surviving tonight. Even now, we're in great danger. Okay, let's get going then, shall we? We'll take the same route we took to get here. R right. We'll be fine, right? There's no one else at school, is there? I think so. The night shift janitor shouldn't be patrolling this late at night either. Ah! Huh? What? Why'd the lights go out? Mio, are you okay? Oh, this is creepy. Looks like there's something there. Oh, what's that? Oh, that was horrifying. Huh? Oh no, oh no, oh no. What was that? Get me out of here, Mio. Mio, Mio, where are you? Yoko, I'm here. Over here, can you see me? Huh? Where? I can't see anything. Oh my god, am I still moving around in the dark? I can't see. Not that way, Yoko. Behind you. I'm behind you. Turn around this way. It's pitch black. I have no idea which way I'm facing. Okay, we'll just try to go back the other way. Okay, there she is. There you are, Mio. This way over here. Be careful, your field of vision is being limited. Right. That actually scared me a little bit. Made me jump. Okay, escape from Kumagata High. After Yako acquires the Curse of the Fool's procession, Mio tries to persuade her to give up on going after the Rite of Resurrection. The effects of other curse echoes are already appearing at the school, so the two hurry to get out of the classroom. Yako Sazaki, 1 a.m. Inside Komagata High School. Hey, Mio, what was that just now? Could it be another curse echo different from mine? Uh, I think so, yes. We may have been discovered by another curse bearer. Oh. Hmm? What's wrong? Shh. Someone's there in that classroom. What? Something moved inside. Well? I don't know, should I check it? 
I really want to check it to see. Let's. I'm going to check it out stealthily. It might be the curse bearer who used that curse echo just now. If we can see who it is, it might help us decide what to do later. That's true. Okay, be careful. Probably going to get the crap scared out of me. Well, can you see anything? Try and get a look around. Oh, God. The last time I did that, I about died. There's somebody in there. Ah. Huh? Is that our homeroom teacher, Mr. Junoruchi? And the person with him is Hitoma from Class A. What? Oh my, what is going on here? Ah, that bastard. He's at it again. I have to kill him. I won't let him get away with this. What? The curse, I could kill him with it. No, Yaku, you can't use the cursed stone. What's gotten into you? Resist it! Who's there? Is someone there? This is bad. We have to go before they see us. Okay, so Kohi Jonayuchi is male high school teacher. I don't remember if we... No, because it's in red, so... Okay. Uh, Kohi is an English teacher and the homeroom teacher for Class 2C at Kamagata High School. He was seen alone with Hitomi Akuda in a classroom late at night by Ayako and Mio. Kohi was an honor student on top of his class back in his high school days, the apple of his parents' eye. He was placed under immense pressure to attend a first-rate university. The family's plans come to naught, however, when the pressure caused Kohi to sink into a deep depression and fail his entrance exams. Even at the university he was able to enter, Kohi struggled to keep up with his classes, leaving in him a vain but wounded young man. Kohi never aspired to be a teacher, but figured it was the least he could do with his talents. He considered his students to be beneath him and largely looks down on them all. What a jerk. Okay, so... Otimai Okuda, female high school student. Otimai is a rebellious student in Class 2A at Kamagata High School. On the rare occasion when she does show up at school, she skips all her classes and spends her time hanging out on the rooftop with her fellow troublemakers. Otimai is regarded by the teachers as one of the worst offenders among the delinquent students attending Kamagata High School. Otimai was a fairly ordinary student when she started high school. However, trouble at home in her first year had her take a turn for the worst. She began associating with a group of delinquents from other schools, with whom she'd wander around town at night to avoid returning home. Warnings from teachers about dress code and conduct violations had fallen on death ears, with Hotimai going on recreational rampages around, or reactionary rampages around school with her friends, breaking windows and disrupting classes. Recently, some teachers have taken to using harsher measures and even corporal punishment to correct Hotimai's behavior, but this has only uh, served to exasperate the animosity between Hotimai and the school. Hotimai is widely regarded as the leader of the troublemakers at Komigata High School, but the title does not mean that much to her. Uh, it seems like they're not coming after us. Let's hope they didn't see our faces. But Yako, what came over you all of a sudden? Uh, sorry, thanks for stopping me. It's like this uncontrollable rage suddenly welled up inside me. I wonder what's gotten into me. I can barely even remember what happened. I'm really sorry. I do think it's partially the curse's influence on you, but we certainly saw something shocking. My heart's still pounding. I'm a little surprised you know Hitomi from Class A. She tends to stand out a lot. Gotcha. Well, she certainly does dress like a delinquent, though she barely shows up at school. Could be Mr. Jurunchi or Himatome. Otome really be a curse bearer? Why is this back behind me? I don't know. But we should be careful just in case. Yako? Hmm? I think we're gonna die. Because I didn't kill him. When I give the signal, run. Go straight for the entrance. Don't look back. No matter what. Huh? Why? Did something happen? Something happened, didn't it? What about you, Mio? I'll be fine. We'll meet up outside the school gates. If I'm not there in 10 minutes, go straight home, okay? Okay, go! Right! Don't look back. Don't look back. I have to get outside. Let's see. To get to the gates, I go by the gym and... What are you doing, miss? 
Yeah. You shouldn't be here this late. Don't you know what time it is? Oh, Mr. Amashia. Well, if it isn't little Yako. Anyway, students aren't supposed to be outside playing around at night. Student school janitor Makoto Ashimai. Okay, he's a male high school janitor. Makoto's the janitor at Komagata High School. His predecessor was nearing retirement, so he began working as his replacement about six months ago. Makoto is a popular among the students for his friendly and caring nature, going so far as to remember the names and faces of all those attending the school. He is affectionately known as Old Man Ashiyamiya. Although he appears to be a simple, amiable man, Makoto's occasional shrewd remarks have led to speculation among students that he may have led a far more interesting life than it seems. Whatever the truth may be, he will be remembered as one of the seven mysteries of Komagata High School for some time to come. I know you're rough around the edges, but I didn't take you for one to act out like this. Sorry, I forgot something back in the classroom. Hmm? No sass today, huh? Realized you were in the wrong, did you? Yes. Forgotten something in your classroom, huh? You're a piece of work. Hmm? But you don't have nothing with you. Oh. Wait, you do. What's that in your hand? Hmm? Well, um, this is what I forgot. I, uh, got it from my grandpa. It's really important to me. Hmm. Girls these days sure have weird taste. Well, okay, better head straight home if you're done. I won't tell on you. No, wait. I can't let you walk home alone this late. Alright, wait just a little. I'll hurry and lock things up. Uh, but... Uh, I am worried about her, but she told me just to go home. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and... Um, actually, a friend of mine is still inside. I think they'll be here soon. That's so. Who's your friend? Um, my classmate Mio Kurazusi. Ah, oh, that transfer student. Breaking school rules already, huh? Didn't take her for the type. No, I was the one who dragged her here. Well, whatever. I'll go take a look. It'll be safer if you go home together. Uh, all right. She's in the first floor hallways. Be careful, though. You don't know what there may be. What's that supposed to mean? First floor, yeah? I'll be right back. Maybe I should have just had him lock it. He's probably going to die now. <laughs> Yaku Sakazaki, 2 a.m. Come on, got a high school entrance. She's late. I've been waiting for 20 or 30 minutes, but there's no sign of her. I'm starting to get worried. I'm going to take a look. It's a bad idea. I should have just went home. Mio, are you there? Ooh. Oh. What? Mio, what happened? Uh oh, it's gonna get me too. Where did I go wrong this time? That's my fault. It's all my fault. I left her alone with the curse bearer. Mio. Sorry, I... The truth is... Yako Sazaki, deceased. Yeah, so I wonder if I should have used my stone on him. My, my, Azrael, you seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. But this was bound to happen. There's someone who must not be trusted. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? If so, you may choose to withhold important information from that person. If you're not, you may try as many times as you like from the event in question. Very well. I'm nothing with you. Okay, we'll skip past that. Well, it must have been from here, so I guess I should have just run home. Okay, go home alone without checking on me. Oh, right. Mr. Jurunchi was actually looking for you inside the main building. Was that? He's here right now? What's he thinking? I don't know. He was in class 3B on the second floor just a bit ago. Well, I suppose that means I can't be locking up yet. 
Second floor, you said? I'll go take a peek. Be back in a jiff. Um, my house is really close by. I'll be fine on my own, really. That's so? Uh, the snack shop, right? Suppose you'll be fine, then. Be careful now, you hear? Stay on the big, well-lit streets. If something happens, sh shout fire. Okay, you worry too much. Well, we wouldn't want to be losing any more students. Though I imagine you'd know that better than anyone. Yes, you're right. Yokozaki, 2 a.m. Come on, got a high school front gates. <clears throat> Mio's late. I've been waiting for 20 or 30 minutes, but there's no sign of her. Huh? There's someone coming down the road. That's... Oh no, a teacher. It's Mr. Arshash Arashi. He looks on edge. I wonder what he's doing. Wait, he's the one who discovered the Rite of Resurrection. It wouldn't be strange for him to be involved with the curses. I wonder if he has a curse stone. What do I do? But it's way past the ten minute Mio said she'd be here by. I managed to escape. I can't let that go to waste. I need to get out of here before anyone sees me. Yoko Sakazaki, 2 a.m. Yako's house. Ah, I'm home. Thank goodness. I don't think the walk has ever felt so long. Nobody will be able to use their curse once it's light outside. I need to go look for Mio as soon as it's morning. But for now, I need some rest. Okay, so we did open both of hers. Okay, a threatening phone call. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. After persuading Arashashi, the curse bearer of the ever-burning lantern, to give up his stone, Susumi and Iro have attained three curse stones in total. They continue their investigation of the town in search of the remaining curse bearers. Tetsu Tsumi, 4 a.m. Road. Well, with this, we'll have visited every place connected to the Seven Mysteries. This is the last spot, huh? And we've got nothing to show for it. Even though every last location looks sus looked suspect from top to bottom. Maybe we came at the wrong time. There might not be have been any curse bearers around. Sounds like we'll need to do another round before morning comes in. Or maybe. Someone's been observing our movements. What? No way. It's just a thought. Either way, we should check out this last place. Let's hope we finally get a lead. Okay, Kinsabori Park. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? Is... Is he dead? Damn it. We were too late. Was this a curse too? H hang on. I'm gonna call this in. I'll leave it to you. I'm gonna take a look around. Boss, bad news. What is it? Another mysterious death was reported in the area just now. The medical unit and forensics team are on their way, but it'll be a while before they arrive. Ah, that is bad news. So they got someone else. You think this is the work of a curse bearer? With suspicious deaths popping up one after another, we have to assume it is. Shit. Guess we'll be stuck waiting around for a while. Let's see if we can... Huh? Boss, that phone is ringing. Seems distracted by the phone. Boss, the phone. What about it? It's ringing. It sure is. Aren't you gonna pick it up? Huh? Why would I? Why wouldn't you? It's super suspicious. I don't want to answer the phone. A young man in his 20s killed in cold blood. He's definitely dead, but I can't quite discern the cause from what I've seen. There are no obvious external wounds, but what is that leaking from his mouth? Water? I checked the surroundings earlier. There were no signs of a curse bearer or any curse echoes around. The ringing of the phone is the only sound cutting through the quiet park. Okay, so I think I've looked at everything. 
because I know the phone's just gonna send it right to the next area. I'm gonna answer. Well, we better go check it out. You're right, but be careful. It could be a curse. Hey, I said we. You expect me to go alone? You're the one who's tough against the stuff. Don't worry, boss. You can do it. Go on now. Damn it. Uh, hello? Kishibori Park phone booth. Evening, Detective Tasumi. How are things looking out there? Who is this? Haha, <laughs> I finally got him. The real deal. Detective Tetsu Tasumi himself. Oh, uh, wait. That's Chief Inspector Tasumi now, isn't it? You've come a long way since we last met. I ask you to identify yourself. Man, have you forgotten already? After all the time we spent together? What a time that was. Ah, as I recall, I gave you quite the runaround. Wait, is this? Fumuchika Najimi? What? Did you say Funuchika Nij Najima? Like the one from the Najima murders? Ding, ding, ding. You got it. I had a feeling that the great chief Tasumi would remember me. I spent 20 long years in a cell thanks to you. That shit was not easy. You should be thanking me. Should have given you plenty of time to think and atone for your sins. <laughs> that it did. I've repented. My conscience is clean as a whistle. Bullshit. 20 years in prison doesn't even begin to make up for the shit you did. I don't know about that. After all, the justice system was gracious enough to grant me parole. What? If this is the real Fumichika N Najima, he must still have a grudge against me for arresting him. So this is payback? Damn it. Let's go with what's your goal. What is your goal? Now, now, you gotta understand. I've repented, seen the light. I've been a good boy since I was granted parole. I even got myself a job. I've been real serious about walking the right path. Well, that's very nice. Keep it up. But it was no good. When the opportunity arose, it was impossible to hold myself back. I knew I had to give you a little token of thanks, or I'd never truly be able to have a fresh start. Do you get what I'm saying? No thanks. I don't need anything. No need to do all that for me. Just try to live a quiet life. Oh, it's no hassle. No hassle at all. It would be all too easy just to kill you, to tear you apart. But that wouldn't be very satisfying. Certainly not after 20 fucking years of waiting. That's a long time to nurture a grudge. You fucking bet it is. I let it gnaw at me, grow inside of me. I thought of nothing else. All that time, I played model prisoner, endured the harassment those asshole guards threw at me. And I did it all for you, Tasumi. So please, just accept my deepest and most sincere feelings. Sorry, but I'm afraid I don't feel the same way about you. Shut the fuck up. That attitude of yours is why I'm saving you for last. What are you planning? Whatever it is, bring it on. I'm not running away. I just told you I'm not coming for you yet. Pay attention when people talk, shithead. You see, this time, this time I want to see you on your knees, weeping in despair, begging me for mercy. What? Oh no. I'm so sorry, dear uh, Najima. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. Shut the fuck up. This is exactly why I've always hated you so fucking much. It was worth a shot. Do you, did you really think that would sate me, asshole? You must be crazy. Well, then we're both crazy. We've got so much in common, we should be friends. Enjoy cracking your jokes while you still can. I'm going to kill everyone you care about, one by one, till there's no one left. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm a lone wolf. I don't have anyone like that in my life. Uh, boss, what about me? Oh, or, or wait, are you just trying to protect me? There's not a single person you care about. I wonder what your sweet daughter would think if she were to hear that. Don't you fucking dare. I'm warning you. Oh, very nice. This is more like it. She's living all on her own now, isn't she? Attending university and all? Such a good girl. Oh my. Don't tell me that she just happens to live in Anjo. What? She does? No, forget it. This isn't funny, asshole. I'm gonna find you and make you pay. Ha, <laughs> I love it. Keep going. I wanna hear you lose your mind. It's music to my ears. Ugh, fuck you. I look forward to chopping up your precious daughter. It'll just be like old times. I won't let that happen. Oh, okay, so I gotta click the next one. How do you know where I am? 
<laughs> That's m my favorite part. The sound of confusion in your voice. It's to die for. Mmm, this is delicious. I can't get enough. I'm not telling you shit. Have fun racking your tiny little brain for it. Mmm, <laughs> I guess I gave you a little hint. Go on. Well, you see. I have the one-sided reed. Tsumi, you have the evergreen beach, no? Najima, you're a curse bearer? You're using the power of the curse? Indeed, and what a peculiar curse it is. But that's where my hints end. <laughs> God damn it, the curse echo couldn't have fallen into worse hands. Ah, uh, one more thing we should discuss. In fact, it's the most important thing. I thought you were finally going to shut up. I'm really sick of you, so I'll pass. Oh, but you don't want to miss this. It's the main course. I could just go after your daughter, but something tells me you'd get bored. No, I'm good. You got me real fired up. You're in my head. Well done. But this is a gift Taylor made for you. I'm going to kill all the people you swore to protect. Every last person living here. You couldn't. Oh, but with this curse of mine, I can. I'll give you until dusk. But then, I could probably get a couple hundred people or so. And then it'll all be your fault. Oh, it must be so hard to know they'll all die because of you. So tragic. It must be tearing you apart. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. There's no way an amateur like you could pull off a curse that strong. Unfortunately for you, I absolutely can. My curse stone is a particularly strong one. Which means I can have my fun without needing to hold back one bit. It's almost like the Feast of Shadows was cast just for me. You're surprisingly well informed about this. Who was it that tipped you off? Hmm, who knows? Then how about I kill him? Then how about I kill myself first and ruin all your fun? What about that asshole? Idiot! You think I'd call it off just because you were dead? There's no running away for you. I'll find you. I won't let you get away with this, Najima. You've got 12 hours. Do you really think your partially little organization will be able to make a dent in my plans? Oh, the sacrifices made will be heavy. I can't wait to see you sobbing with regret. <laughs> I'll even have enough soul dregs to pull off the Rite of Resurrection. How splendid. Wait, Najima, you're after the... Anyway, see you around. Bye-bye now. That's an interesting conversation. Boss. Iro, did you catch all that? Najima, what is he planning? Who knows. For now, we need to find him and get him into custody. Send word to HQ. But the fact that the Seven Mysteries are wrapped up in this is going to make things tricky. You mean with Najima being a curse bearer? Just our luck, really. It could have, it couldn't have been a worse guy. Sounds like his curse will be able to kill a lot of people at once. I'd like to avoid getting our investigators caught in the crossfire. We'll use them to find out where he is, but then we're going in alone. We should try to collect as many curse stones as we can before then. Let's hurry. Aye, aye, boss. Later. It was reported that a total of three suspicious deaths were discovered that night. Najima's threats, along with the curses, were kept secret from the greater public, the general public. However, the Hanjo Sillier killings still made international headlines following the death of police officer Hajime Yoshima. At Susumi's request, a large-scale investigation was launched into F Fumichiko, <laughs> Fumichika Najimi. Whereabouts? I can't say that name. Tsumi and Iro themselves spent the rest of the night looking for curse bearers in the area, but they're searching it in vain. And with that, the curtain closed on that cursed night. Twelve hours to sunset. Okay, guys, so we're going to end it there. Um, this definitely took a turn. I wasn't expecting i was not expecting that uh, guy that was brought up who killed that uh student to come back and be one of the curse bearers so that was really really interesting uh let me know what you guys think about the game in the comments leave me a like subscribe if you haven't and share this video with anyone who might be interested and we'll see you next time bye